Hi, my name is Milo Thompson. I'm from Santa Rosa High, and I'll be doing a self-written monologue called Cooking. I'm in this cooking class, and I always seem to leave the heat on high. I run around doing like 20 other things at once. Like, you know when you set up the toaster all nice? With the knife and condiments ready for action on the side, so you run to the bathroom, run back as quick as you can, you look in the toaster holes, and it's still bread. And you check the other side, of course, to see if there's any toast hiding behind all that bread. There's not. So you sit back like, okay. I'm sitting next to bread now. And like two seconds go by and you look in the toaster holes again and it's pitch black. Why? Because your toast is fucking charred. How does that happen? How? How? Do Breathe. Hold, two, three, four, breathe, three, four. But I don't even have time for that because my onions are burning and I look in the cookbook and it says like three times to let it simmer. And I look around and everyone's just letting it simmer. Like, how did everyone get so good at cooking? And I don't expect everyone to have like read up on the secrets of the universe or something but I do think that I'm missing something here. Everyone is standing around eating their perfectly toasted bread, telling me all I have to do is let it simmer. Like, that's not what I've been telling my brain to do this entire time. Like, like I could just turn down the heat anytime I wanted. I just choose not to, right? And when I do turn off the heat, my teachers say I'm lazy. And when I leave the heat on high, I don't know. I don't know. I hand myself over to everything I see and every idea I have. And it's exhausting. And I don't want to burn anyone either, but I've gotten used to the heat. And Pour myself into everything I do. But is that enough? Or did I forget I left the heat on high and it's always been too much? I don't know. I just want to let it simmer. Thank you.